We wish to acknowledge that the land on which we gather today is Treaty 6 territory and a traditional meeting ground for the home of many, including Cree, Salto, Blackfoot, Métis, and other Indigenous peoples. Good evening, friends of Lingap, Canada. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. The International Day of Peace is observed globally on the 21st of September. This day was declared by the United Nations General Assembly in 1989 as a day for strengthening the ideals of peace within and among nations and peoples through observing 24 hours of nonviolence and ceasefire. However, peace is no longer just an absence of war or armed conflicts or physical violence. Peace also means a world that upholds nonviolence, social justice, human rights, intercultural understanding and respect, environmental sustainability, and inner peace. Hence, a culture of peace is multidimensional and holistic. Over the past 33 years, millions of people, as well as governments, institutions, and organizations worldwide, have celebrated the International Day of Peace through various activities, such as conferences, forums, sports, and artistic performances. This year, Ling Up Canada once again joins this worldwide observance of International Day of Peace through a concert of music performed by Filipino Canadians in Alberta, Filipinos in the Philippines, and other parts of the world. They will be singing or playing music that echoes the timeless message of peace composed and written by Filipino and international musicians. We also welcome the inspiring messages of peace by leaders of civil society organizations appealing to all Albertans, Canadians, and peoples globally to build a peaceful, just, compassionate, and sustainable world. Participants in this concert uh, video recorded their messages or song in English or in Filipino related to peace themes and issues, which is now being broadcast by Ling Up Canada on our website and Facebook today, September the 18th, for public viewing. After today, the concert will also be featured in a YouTube video. Friends, I am deeply grateful to all our performers tonight for our creative and enthusiastic performances to celebrate the 2022 International Day of Peace. Let us welcome them with peaceful minds, hearts, and spirit. 10,000 thanks and marami salamat po sa inyong lahat. Morning has broken is Cat Stevens' reworking of a 1931 children's hymn by Eleanor Farjon who also wrote a lot of children's poetry. The lyric is a reference to the book of Genesis in the Bible, where God creates earth on the first morning.
Greetings, everyone. I am delighted and honored to be part of Link Up Canada project. On account of the celebration of International Day of Peace through songs and music to build a culture of peace, the Congress of the Philippine Association of Alberta, under my leadership, is fully supportive of this endeavor and wishing that this noble celebration be a real success. The success that would surely enhance the vision of peace among nations. It is my ardent hope that the international peace be achieved by being united, the unity that is accompanied by songs and music. Once again, congratulations, Ling of Canada, for this advocacy. Maraming salamat po. Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. The lyrics and the video to this song celebrates the beauty of diversity and the freedom to live your life as you wish, free from persecution. The powerful message of self-love and self-acceptance rings true for every generation. Every day is so wonderful Then suddenly it's hard to breathe Now and then I get insecure From all the pain I'm so ashamed I am beautiful no matter what they say Batingao 
by a sin. Batingao, which means literally a large bell, or metaphorically a rallying cry. By a sin is an evocative song from the Karapatang Pantao, compilation album that calls for respect of human rights. Human rights is one of the major themes in a holistic culture of peace. Respect by Aretha Franklin. Big, bold, and completely unforgettable, Aretha first belted out this anthem for women's empowerment in the 1960s, literally spelling out her rights in this song about equality, 
Aretha stands up to the patriarchy in the song, demanding respect for men and treatment as an equal. As she put it, everyone is worthy of R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Cesar Doust, President, Filipino Canadian Serrani Association of Alberta. On behalf of the Filipino Canadian Serrani Association of Alberta, I join the millions of people worldwide in celebrating the International Day of Peace on September 1822. We believe that in a peaceful world, there should be no wars and armed violence. However, we also believe that peaceful relations among people and nation, also understanding and respect for the diversity of cultures, as well as compassion for one another. For over 40 years, Saranai has tried to promote these values that foster peace locally and internationally. We have encouraged Filipino Canadian youth and adults to maintain their cultural heritage through the traditional rondalia string orchestra and our dance and our choral group. Our Filipino language and culture school has helped our youth and people of other ethnic groups to learn Tagalog and gain a deeper understanding of Filipino culture. Sharanai has also supported scholarship in Southeast Asian studies at the University of Alberta. Peace also means justice and human rights. So we have been an assertive voice and advocate of many victims of caregiver programs and human trafficking. We are thankful for the opportunity to collaborate with Ling of Canada and many Filipino Canadian and our Filipino sisters and brothers in the Philippines in celebrating this year's International Year of Peace. Let there be peace on earth. Naway makaroon ng kapayapaan sa mundo. Thank you.
Estudiantina. La Estudiantina, a Spanish-inspired dance of the Philippines, refers to young women who studied at home. This was a rare occasion showing women's right to education even during the colonial period, although this right was enjoyed only by daughters of the Insulares and the Peninsulares then. <laughs> Dear friends at Lingap, Canada, magandang buhay, mapayapang araw sa inyo. Ako po ay si Karen Tanyada mula sa GZO Peace Institute at masaya akong makasama sa inyong celebration ngayon. Congratulations and thank you for this honor. I thought to express my solidarity for your wonderful peace action by sharing just three brief pieces of good news that I know from my own work. First is that with regard to the Bangsamoro, the peace process between the government and the MILF, Moro Islamic Liberation Front, there is good progress and there's goodwill on both sides to really continue the process for sustaining peace and normalization in the communities. The second good news is on the role of Filipino women in peace. We have the distinction of, of having the first uh, woman uh, signing a peace negotiation as the chairperson of the negotiations. That's Miriam Coronel Ferrer. But it's not only her, but many women in communities on the ground who are doing their work for peace and are slowly being recognized for their work. And third are the efforts on transitional justice and reconciliation. These are efforts that after a history of gross injustice in our country, in different parts of our country, we need to give people the right to truth, the right to justice and reparation 
and the non-recurrence of grave human rights violations. So it's a challenge, but we continue to do this effort saying, never again, and we must really seek truth and justice for sustained peace. We seek peace based on justice, and we know that peace must be done by means of peace. So maraming salamat po. I hope to see you uh, maybe by Zoom again. Let us continue this dialogue. But it will be much better that when you come to the Philippines, as we hope you will, we will see each other face to face and hope to host you for many peace dialogues. Congratulations, maraming salamat at mapayapang araw sa inyo. What's Going On by Marvin Gaye Marvin Gaye's protest anthem, What's Going On, was a powerful and groundbreaking song at the time of its release in 1971. But fast forward 50 years later, and it is sadly still just as relevant for the world in 2021. With a huge spark of protest in the U.S. and around the world against racism, following the death of George Floyd a year ago, the subject of police brutality and racial injustice is being discussed as much today as it was back then. Brother, 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 there's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love and fear today. Father, father, there's no need to escalate. War is not the answer, for only love can conquer hate. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love and fear today. Picket line, picket line, and picket sign, picket sign. Don't punish me with brutality. Talk to me, and you will see. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on?
Liwanag sa Dilim by River Maya. Unconventionally, it is motivated by an inspiring message, but with a harmony that refuges the rock genre. Thus, this unusual fusion brings about a catchy song that effectively channels passion towards the listeners. The piece utterly propelled the spirit of unison that starts within oneself. Saugoy ng Duyan is a Filipino lullaby composed by Lucio San Pedro and lyrics by Levi Silerio, both national artists of the Philippines. The message of the song is about personal peace resulting from the unconditional love of the mother for the child.
On behalf of the board, staff, volunteers, and members of Changing Together, a Center for Immigrant Women Association, I congratulate LingUp Canada and its board of directors for this year's celebration of the International Day of Peace. Special mention must be made of Dr. Virginia Kawagas, current chair, and Dr. To Suihin, past chair both original founders of the organization, for their tireless efforts in promoting peace through their work as peace educators. What is peace? Some will equate peace with the absence of conflict and war. Peace, however, does not exist in a vacuum, but is a state of being that can be achieved only in the presence of justice equality, and prosperity for all. Where there is continuous oppression, hunger, exploitation, an equal distribution of resources, inequality in economic opportunity, discrimination, persecution, and violence against women, children, and minority groups, there can be no peace even in the silence of the oppressed. Peace can be achieved only when everyone acknowledges the dignity of every human being, respects their rights to life and liberty, and works towards justice and equality for all. From an immigrant woman's perspective, peace begins in the home when there is genuine and sacrificial love between husband and wife, parents and children, and children amongst one another when children are taught to respect their elders and care for one another, when they are taught to obey rules for their own good and for the good of others, when they learn to resolve conflicts within the home peacefully, lovingly and justly, these learnings spill out into the community and will influence their interaction and attitude towards others. When children are loved and cared for in their homes, they also learn to love and care for others. Where there is discord within the family unit, when members are unable to accept opposing views on religion, politics, and personal choices, and are unwilling to have a respectful dialogue, when familial relationships are destroyed, due to intolerance, hostility, jealousy, and hate. When there is no peace 
within the home. There can be no peace outside the home. Only when we love unselfishly can we look beyond our wants and needs and look at the needs of our family, our community, our country, and the world. As long as there's greed and oppression by a few, and if the ones who have the power to speak out against injustices remain silent, there cannot be peace. Thank you, Ling Up Canada, for your contribution to peace in Canada and in the world. And thank you to all the artists and musicians who participated and contributed their talents to this celebration of peace. Kanlungan by Noel Kabangan. The song is all about the Filipino culture. Music reflects the life of common, mostly rural Filipino. They have a strong connection with nature. Music became their sanctuary. Like the lyrics of the song, it reflects the story of the persona, remembering his childhood and memories of his past. Panapanahon ng pagkakataon May babalik pa ang kahapon Natatandaan mo pa ba Nang tayong dalway Unang makita Panahon ng kamusmusan Sa piling ng mga bulaklak At halaman Doon tayong nagsimula Mangarap at tumula Tatandaan mo pa ba? Inukit kong puso sa punong mangga At ang inalay kong kumamela Magkahawak kamay sa dalang pasigan Malayang tulad ng mga ibon ang gunita ng ating kahapon Ang mga punot halaman Ay kabiyak ng ating gunita Sa paglipas ng panahon Bakit kailangan? Panahon ng pagkakataon May babalik pa ang kahapon Ngayon ikaw ay nagbalik At tulad ko rin ang iyong Nanabig. Makita ang dating kanungan Tahanan ng ating tunga at pangarap Ngayon ay naglaho na Saan ahanapin pa? Lumilipas Panahon, kabiyak ng ating kunita Ang mga punot halaman Bakit kailangan lumisan? 
panapanahon ng pagkakaon. May babalik pa ang kahapon. Lumilipas ang panahon Kabiyak ng ating gumita Ang mga punon alaman Bakit kailangan lumisan Panapanahon Babalik pa ang kahapon. What the World Needs Now by Bert Bacharach The lyrics tell us, or a creator, that the world has plenty of meadows cornfields and wheat fields to grow, plenty of sunbeams and moonbeams to shine too. What it really needs is love. Even today, half a century later, the world still needs love. <laughs> Sweet love It's the only thing That there's just Too little of What the world Needs now Is love, sweet love No, not just for some But for everyone Lord, we don't need Another mountain There are mountains and hillsides enough to climb. There are oceans and rivers enough to cross, enough to last till the end of time. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of what the, the world, world needs now is love, sweet love, no, no not just for some, but for everyone. Lord, we don't need another medal. There are sunbeams and moonbeams Enough to shine Oh listen Lord If you want to know What the world needs now Is love, sweet love It's the only thing That there's just to little of Greetings to all. This year's International Day of Peace celebration is coming almost to an end. But before we listen to the final song, on behalf of Link Up Canada, I would like to express our heartfelt appreciation and gratitude to the following. 
Alberta Culture Days, and the Government of Canada for their support of this Concert of Songs of Peace for the past two years. The honorary co-sponsors of this event, Congress of the Philippine Association of Alberta and the Filipino-Canadian Sarana Association of Alberta, for their messages of peace and continuing support of link-up activities. Executive Director, Karen Tanada of the Gaston Ortigas Peace Institute of the Philippines for sharing the wishes of the Filipino people for peace. Ling Up Canada board members and the organizing committee, especially Rogea Kawaga Skates and Zoltan Burkesh, who spent countless hours planning for this concert. Erika Kawagas for her skillful and patient technical and artistic production of this video program. Finally, this concert has been made possible only because of the talents and commitment of so many performers. The solos, duets, trios, and choral groups, and the Rondalia Orchestra representing many organizations here in Canada, the Philippines, and the United States. They sang and played music from their hearts to motivate us to build peace in our daily personal and social lives. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And now to our final song, Let There Be Peace on Earth. This song was composed by C. Miller and Jill Jackson. In 1955, they wrote a song about their dream of peace for the world and how they believed each one of us could help create it, in the words of C. Miller. One summer evening in 1955, a group of 180 teenagers of all races and religions meeting at a workshop high in the California mountains locked arms, formed a circle, and sang a song of peace. They felt that singing the song with its simple basic sentiment let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Help to create a climate for world peace and understanding. Dear Ling Up members and friends, please welcome the one and only Coro Filipino of Edmonton, Alberta to sing Let There Be Peace on Earth. Maraming salamat po. Let There Be Peace by Jackson and Similar. Let There Be Peace on Earth was written by husband and wife songwriting duo Jill Jackson Miller and C. Miller as a simple reminder to be the change you want to see in the world. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. <laughs> 